Hi, this is Greg Morris. Uh, thanks for inviting me. Uh, John Murphy and I started a modestly named company named murphymorris.com back in 1995. We had both traveled a lot. We met at Financial News Network's Green Room back in the 80s and uh, became pretty good friends. And I had John at a seminar in Dallas and uh, was taking him back to the airport after he gave his presentation. And uh, I paid him, I think, a thousand dollars honorarium. And uh, I asked him, I said, you've been gone from home for three days and you've made a thousand dollars. I said, what do you think of that? And he said, well, I'd like to make a lot more. And I said, well, I, I travel and I don't get near what you get for that. And I come home after three days of speaking and, and uh, hardly have any money to put in the bank. And so that's what caused us to start Murphy Morris. And we were going to sell videos. We both had written books, uh, training tapes and do seminars. And, we struggled initially. John was still on CNBC a lot, so we had literally thousands of followers. And then I was reading a marketing book. I was an engineer, and so I was reading a marketing book one day by Reason Trout, and it talked about branding. And I realized the light came on that John Murphy was our product. He wasn't just my partner, but he was my product. And so I started selling John Murphy, and Murphy Morris really took off after that. We were at a... Uh, Traders Expo in Las Vegas in 1999, and I think it was being held at Bally's, and uh, we, we always had a nice booth right in the center of the trade show. We, I could always negotiate good positions with uh, John as my brand, and uh, this, this guy comes over and, and introduces himself, said his name is Chip Anderson. And he wanted to know if we had time to look at some software that he had at his booth. And, and I, I'll share with you that we, we got asked a lot of times to go see somebody's product, somebody's software, because John Murphy, like I said, he was very popular and very famous from, because he was on television. And the pat answer was almost, uh, I, we just don't have time right now. But Chip was persistent. And so I went over there and looked at it, and he showed me the – dynamic yield curve and the perf charts. And I literally was blown away. Uh, I had never seen active charting things like that. You know, they were Java, Java apps or applets, whatever they call them. And I was just kind of dazzled by them. And the perf charts were especially interesting because Murphy was always good at talking about sector analysis and the perf charts that he, uh, I think the chip had were all the, the nine or 10 S and P sectors. So, really caught my attention. And so I decided to go back and bring John over. John came over and he was equally dazzled. And so at that point, I'm not sure of the chronology, if it's exactly right, but we ran into Chip two or three times at trade shows and he was always very nice and uh, showed us whatever new things he had and talked to us. Uh, I was the webmaster at Murphy Morris. In other words, uh, I was an old programmer, but I could tell by two th year 2000 that my, my abilities were just very limited. And uh, it, it was kind of a struggle for me to continue doing the webmastering. And the other thing that I had a problem with was ho people to host our website. I, I had a place in Dallas that was doing it for a while. And then I went to an individual who convinced me he could do it in his bedroom. That was a giant mistake. And then I went with another large company and uh, it just, I just had a lot of trouble getting people to host our website. And I, I it always came back to us. And at, at one point chip called and, and said, I was telling him this story and he said, well, I'll, stock charts will host it. Stock charts started hosting Murphy Morris and, and it really took the load off of me uh, because chip was very good with the technology and uh, always liked to talk about it. I always enjoyed listening to it, even though I didn't understand half of what he said. But, and we, we kept running into trade shows. And uh, I think it was about a year later in the late spring or early summer of 2002. I don't know whether it was on a phone call or I was up in Redmond or it was a trade show. I don't remember where it was, but Chip kind of meant some, something about acquiring Murphy Morris. And uh, it just kind of rang really well with me because I was tired. I was uh, running the whole show for Murphy Morris, and uh, we were traveling all over the place. Uh, 
scheduling John and getting speaking arrangements and arranging seminars. It was, it was a one man show actually with, with John as the product. And so that sounded very interesting. So we, Chip and I went back and forth, uh, I think with email and phone calls for oh, four or five months. And um, after uh, lots of discussions, Murphy Morris was acquired in October 2002. And Chip was smart enough to know not to just shut it down, but he slowly merged components of Murphy Morris into stock charts. And, and uh, Murphy Morris name kind of hung around for quite a while. I don't remember how long. It seemed like quite a while. I think, I think Chip really wanted John Murphy to be one of the chief technical analyst commentators for stock charts. That was his primary goal. In 2006, I stayed on it as, as a consultant advisor. Uh, it was just part of the, the sale. Didn't work with Chip for, oh, I guess six or seven years. I mean, stayed in touch with everything, but did, did no, no association with me working with stock charts. Then at an IFTA conference, International Federation of Technical Analysts in San Francisco in 2013, I was one of the speakers and uh, Chip was there and he came up and asked me how I was doing and we sat down and talked for a while. Laura, my wife, Laura was with me and we, and we had a really great conversation and we, we stayed in touch. Uh, then I was speaking at the market technician, the MTA, the Market Technicians Association meeting in New York City. I was one of the speakers and they were in a venue which didn't have a, a giant auditorium. Uh, and so like Perry Kaufman, Martin Pring and me and a few others, we had to rotate, uh, give like two, two speeches in the morning and one in the afternoon and one the next day or something like that. And, and it was basically, they wanted us to give the same speech. Well, that's harder to do than you can imagine. But, Anyway, I noticed that Chip Anderson was sitting in the back of the room, and I think he sat back there for two of those speeches, which were the same, and I thought that was odd. But, so he approached me about considering writing a blog for stock charts, and I think my first response was, I don't have time. And then he said, well, I listened to you for an hour, and I heard at least 25 articles in that hour. And he said, it'd be real easy for you to do. You've written, you've written books on modern finance and technical analysis. Uh, and he really was convincing. And I said, well, let me consider, let me think about it. Cause I was trying to retire. And, uh, I thought, well, I could do this at home. I don't have to travel. It sounded like something I'd really like to do. And so I've been writing a blog called dancing with the trend on stockcharts.com since I think almost four years now maybe three and a half, but I've written, I do know that I've written 176 articles and I don't write like most of the other blog authors. I don't write about what the current market's doing. I write about my 45 years experiences as a technical analyst and I'm very blunt and very honest about it. Keep, I think Chip calls me the curmudgeon. Uh, I have no problem being critical of modern finance. Uh, in fact, I've written books on being critical of modern finance and, and it, so it brings something a little different to the blog table at stock charts and I've been doing it ever since. And so that's, that's pretty much how Murphy Morris uh, became part of stock charts and how come John Murphy became the chief technical analyst at stock charts. And I'm now one of the blog authors at stock charts. So that's it.